Clutch 55, the famous small batch series from Camden Town Brewery. Clocking from Camden Town Brewery, we have a bottle from their Arch 55 Small Batch Series, a bottle of their Camden Wilkins Street NW5 White Pilsner coming in at 5.8% ABV. Now, this Small Batch Series Arch 55, Arch 55 was the, um, the arch which Camden Town Brewery started under. And this Arch 55 series that they've brought out again, um, it's on their website. There's four different beers in the range. You get 12 in a box, three of each is 23 pounds. So far, the first three we reviewed are absolutely fantastic. Um, this is a box you do not want to miss out on. Um, I'm not sponsored by Camden Town at all for this for this review. Um, I had to pay for them out of my own money. Um, but seriously, these beers are that good. Get on their website and get some. Um, three of them so far have been awesome. The first three I've reviewed. This is now the fourth. Um, yeah, it's it's just awesome. It, it's just really great beer. So let's crack it open. Let's get it in a glass. I've actually been looking forward to this one because, as you know, I do like a Pilsner. But a white Pilsner, they're quite rare to get hold of. Right, first impressions. It's slightly hazy. It's golden, slightly hazy, plenty of carbonation. A two-finger, nice, tight, white, frothy head. Let's get the aromas. Oh. I'm actually getting melon for this, and believe it or not, right, the hops in this, they've got the pearl hops, and they've got the Huel melon, the mand mandarina, and Bavarian hops, and you can actually smell melon straight away. There's a slight peachiness there. I'm getting some lychees, I'm getting some stone fruit. Very, very subtle though. It's not overpowering, it's not really in your face, it's really, really subtle aroma. So I'll pick some more up. No, that's it, sort of melon, stone fruit, lychee. A little bit of peaches there. Um, absolutely fantastic. So let's dive in, give it a try. Cheers. Oh my word. <laughs> Taking a first sip of this beer. Must be like, it probably is like a feeling like back in World War Two, being being a member of the Long Range Desert Group, which or which then become the SAS, right? And driving across the desert behind enemy lines to go and um, like uh, attack an airfield, one of Rommel's airfields in the middle of nowhere, right? And you've been driving for hours and your mouth is totally dry. You haven't had no water. It, the desert has just dried your mouth out. But the first sip of that has got to be similar to them guys in nineteen in, in, in the Second World War, in, in the 1940s, who did that. Because literally, that took all the dryness out, it, all the saliva out of my mouth. Absolutely... Oh yeah. Mm. 
This is a great Pilsner. It literally takes the saliva out of your mouth. That it, it, you just got to have a second sip. It's good. It's dry. It's peppery at the back end. You've got these grassy notes. Oh. The grassy notes are so dry. It's probably that wispy grass that's on the sand dunes. If you go up on the Norfolk coast and you see the sand dunes and they've got that wispy grass on top that always looks dry and sunburnt and, you know, I'm relating to it because it dries your mouth out. Like, like if you was driving across the desert, you know, sort of the long range desert group back in the day, right? Your mouth is dry. You're approaching the airfield. You've got to, you've got to blow it up and all you want is a sip of your water. It's, yeah, this is, this is bang on. This is really good. I can't believe I've left the best to last, to be honest. Um, I reviewed them in ABV order, believe it or not. I started off with the lowest ABV out of the box and gone up to this. Well, this shares the same ABV level as the one before, but I thought, because it's a Pilsner, and as you know, I do like a Pilsner, I'll leave this one to last, and I'm glad I did. Um, this is awesome. Now about a few sips. It's dry from the f for as soon as it enters your mouth. It's dry. It really is dry. Um, it's one of the driest beers I've actually ever had, believe it or not. Then you get this grassiness, which all I'm going to say is the grass on top of the on top of the sand dunes. That that, that sort of sun blushed grass. In the background, there is sort of your, your lychees, uh, stone fruit sort of hiding in the background. You can actually sort of taste it, especially sort of the lychees is what I, I'm, I'm more coming to. And that's only because obviously you've got Chinese food and that, and I, you know, we all had lychees down the Chinese restaurant, and we, um, and we know the dist distinct sort of velvety, soft sort of flavour they have. Well, that that sits in the background of this beer. And then you've got this sort of pepperiness. Yeah, there's a pepperiness at the back end. It's not harsh though, it's a very mild sort of pepper. Um, really is. I'll tell you what, absolutely cracking beer. This whole range of four beers is just absolutely cracking um camden town just to seem to know how to pull the style of hells lagers pilsners off to a tee um whoever's the head brewer who decides all this well you know um he needs an mbe from from or cbe or whatever it is from the queen i tell you this guy knows how to produce lagers um in my opinion camden town are by far the best brewery in England at producing lagers, tweaking around with them, um, bringing out like flavoured ones, blah, blah, blah. Um, they've just got this, this this brewing of lager down to a T. Um, look, get on their website, get a box of this. There's 12 bottles in the box. There's three of each, each, each one, right? It's 23 quid. It's less than two quid a bottle. Um, this beer, these beers are going to put a smile on your face. We're in shit times at the moment. Um, you know, coronavirus and all that. We're in bad times at the moment, right? You need something to put a smile on your face. Put a, 
bit of zing in your step, you know? And these beers will do that. These beers will make you happy. The, this, this, this whole, like, I've reviewed all four now, that, that every one of these has made me feel happy. Um, has made me feel great again. Um, this is great that a, a British brewery is producing this quality, quality lagers, pilsners, hells, whatever you want to call them. It's fantastic. Um, look, get get on there. Get yourself a box before they sell out because you are going to kick yourself if you miss out on these. You are going to kick yourself round your garden, up the road. Um, you are going to hate it, right? So get yourself a crate of these, right? Let me know what you think. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.